Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see about the three important inclusion bodies. These are the very important inclusion bodies that you should know for your exam. Okay, let's see what are the three. First inclusion body, first important inclusion body will be your Veroque bodies. Okay. First will be your Veroque bodies. Where you can find this Veroque bodies? Yes. You can find in Neuri Lemoma. Okay. Veroque bodies are present in the Neuri Lemoma Antony type A. Antony type A. Alright. Now, let's see what are the Veroque bodies. Veroque bodies are the small hyaline structures. Okay. These are the small hyaline structures. And it is located, these include the dense areas of a nuclear zone. Okay. Between the palisading spindle cells. That is, for suppose here you have the nuclear palisading and here will be also nuclear palisading and in middle you will be having a nuclear zone and this two will be your what is that nuclear palisading region So, Veroque bodies it compresses of the two rows of nuclear palisading in which there will be a, a nuclear zone. And this is known as the Veroque bodies. These are the hyaline structures. These are the, these are the hyaline structures which forms the dense areas of neurilemoma. Alright. And it consists of the two nuclear palisading region and an a nuclear zone. This alternate zones form this Veroque bodies. Okay. Now coming to the second most important body, the inclusion bodies. That is your Lipschitz bodies. Okay. Okay now, where you can find the Slipchutz bodies? It is seen in herpes simplex. Alright, it is seen in herpes simplex. Now, what are Lipchutz bodies? These are the eosinophilic. Okay, these are the eosinophilic ovoid homogeneous structures these are the eosinophilic ovoid homogeneous structures in the nucleus which displaces the the main thing you have to remember is that it displaces nucleolus and nuclear chromatin peripherally Alright, this is very important. You should remember this. It is the eosinophilic ovoid homogeneous structures which displaces the nucleolus and nuclear chromatin peripherally. Alright, these are known as Lipschitz bodies. Second most important inclusion bodies. Alright. Now, coming to the third most important inclusion bodies, that is your civet bodies. These civet bodies are also called as colloid bodies or hyaline bodies or cytoid bodies or sabrots bodies. 
these are the different names for this inclusion body you just have to remember all these names and where you can find this civet bodies it is seen in lichen planus all right it is seen in lichen planus now what are these civet bodies let's see what are these civet bodies that is these are homogeneous round or ovoid eosinophilic globules okay these are homogeneous round or ovoid round or ovoid eosinophilic globules found where it is found between the epithelium and lamina propria okay this is found between epithelium and the lamina propria and what are these the main important thing you should know these are the dead keratinocytes these are the dead keratinocytes this one you should need, you need to remember these are dead keratinocytes okay or the other necrotic epithelial component which are transported to the connective tissue for phagocytosis that is these are the dead keratinocytes you just have to remember this civet bodies or colloid bodies or hyaline bodies or cytoid bodies or sabrots bodies it is usually seen in lichen planus just you have to remember what what are these we'll just have a quick recall of what are the three important inclusion bodies first one is your verruca bodies seen in the neuri lemoma antony type a and second one will be your lipchitz bodies that is seen in herpy simplex and third one is your civet bodies the other name is colloid or hyaline or cytoid or sabrots bodies it is seen in lichen planus these are the three important inclusion bodies that you should know for your exam that's all for today's video if you like the video hit the like button share the video and subscribe my channel thank you for watching thank you